Um, so I joined Engineers Without Borders because engineering is my passion, but more importantly I wanted to use it to help serve other people. I joined Engineers Without Borders because I wanted to do international development work and I wanted to apply my engineering experience to that. Uh, I came from a really big background of service, so I was looking to continue that into college. And I also wanted to meet people that were interested in the same fields I was. We went through a lot of projects, um, vetting them for how feasible they were, um, how it would have worked with our chapter, and we felt that the Gambia was the most feasible and the one that we like to pursue based on our interest as a chapter. There were six of us and an advisor, and um, we all got along really well, and it was such a great thing to have like a group of people you could rely on. Um, just every night we would talk and sort of catch up on the day and write down all of our notes and that was such a great experience to just spend time with people, but also the people that we're partnering with in the community. Um, they're really inspiring and they take community and sharing to heart in a way that doesn't always happen here in the States. And so I think that was just crazy for me to see how much um, they cared about us, how excited they were that we were spending time with them. And it was such a blessing to just like cook food with them and sit with them and just spend time. I think sometimes I'm bad at sitting and spending time with people, so it was great for me to do that. As a person, it's helped me um, kind of break some, not stereotypes, but kind of just the way of thinking in a small American sense. Um, it's changed how I think about international development. It's changed how I think about what my role in a community is. Uh, definitely, I came out of it feeling like I got as much as they got from us. As an engineer, the trip has helped me with my skills outside of using a calculator and a textbook as far as doing mental math and taking notes and working with tools like a GPS that you don't learn in the classroom. If you're considering joining Engineers Without Borders, I would say there's no harm in trying it out. And I would say you'll meet a bunch of people that are very passionate about helping others and that are very passionate about the engineering work they do. There is no harm in trying. Like, just show up to one meeting, give it a try. Um, I wandered in as a freshman not knowing into what, what to expect, and like, here I am now, a year and a half later. It's a great organization. We have three different branches of EWB. We do international projects, so if you want to go on the trip um, and you want to spend time with the wonderful people that we met, then you can. It's a great opportunity, but you can also do local projects. Um, we invest in the community nearby. You can teach after school all-stars. So there's like a lot of ways to get involved. And even if you're like not an engineer and you're like, maybe that sounds really cool. We do fundraising and marketing and we need people to like write grants and do graphics and everything. And it's just been such a great organization. You meet a bunch of really awesome people. And I think it opens up a lot of opportunities. So I would recommend it to anyone who's interested.